all right guys welcome to episode two of your arsenal guide in this episode we are going to be focusing on uh movement specifically strafing left to right parkour peaks running and crouch jumping this will help you get an advantage on your uh, peers or people that you're playing against in 1v1s or public servers so yeah let's get into it so firstly we're going to talk about strafing now i'll use jimmy for an example but uh, we'll just start off with the example straight so stand here please now just do a slow peek which one's harder to kill and then do a faster peek that one's really hard to kill right but then if you uh peek really slow out you're very exposed it's really easy to kill you jimmy try to kill me all right see he missed all right don't kill don't kill me anymore yeah See, he missed, and he's level 400 Pulch champ. But yeah, um, so the harder you peek, the faster you peek, uh, the harder it is to hit you. Like if you peek way farther out, you're gonna get killed. If you peek like that, you're you're gonna get killed. Because a lot of people they'll like they'll like this around this corner specifically. Look how exposed you are. You have to, if you're like right here and you peek so far out, you have to go all the way back here. It takes seconds to get out or to get out of that uh, uh, situation so you want to go close to walls peek out slowly because if you just go into the open you're exposed to there 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 everywhere you're exposed to everywhere but if you just go in the corner you're exposed to there there and possibly there uh just for this scenario though but jimmy just now let's just work on just like strafing so the thing is just stand still for a second I can, I'll just put my crosshair on Jimmy's head real quick, but uh, if you strafe way too quick and like spam strafe like a lot of kids like to do, it's really hard to keep your crosshair on their head and then you'll just end up missing more shots. So you have to efficiently strafe and track their head, alright? Like Jimmy's doing. This is where aim trainers come in handy. Uh, like SMG tracking specifically. You just want to keep a subtle strafe, strafe and you want to be unpredictable. Like... An unpredictable strafe is like where you the tech, normal strafes will be like where you just go left right but you can you can always go you can go like right right left left you can you know try and up you know mess up your opponents you always want to go the opposite of them so it's harder for them to hit you you want to track their head so that's why you need good tracking because when you're playing against a good player they're just gonna you know strafe a lot and jump out on you and now the second thing we're gonna be covering is jump peaks this is a small segment of the video, but a jump peek would be like where you're behind the wall and you just peek out like that. And the typical peek, unless they have really good flicks, your opponent's not gonna be able to kill you if you shoot them really quickly. So, because Jimmy, just go behind here. Let's say I expect you just to peek your tiny head out a little bit and then you jump out fully. Yeah, that's really unexpected. And if you kill them really quickly, then that's actually pretty hard. And then you. Yeah, but you can just jump out and shoot them. A lot of people use that uh, against their opponents because it's very unpredictable instead of just a standard peak. But if you just do it every time, then it's just going to free fire uh, jump level. And the reason you don't want to do too much is because when you're in the air, you cannot control where you're going, right? You can either just go straight or basically just only straight. But when you peak, you can control where you're going. So yeah. All right, so the next thing we're going to do it's just some parkour. I'll show you some other parkour on different maps at the end of the video. But this is just standard parkour for Sandtown and stuff like that. You can jump up here onto this little thing. And crouch jump. Did they seriously put a mesh there? And you can go up here, shoot there, stuff like that. You can go here. You can actually shoot through here, which is actually pretty cool. Now the second one, probably the most common one, is this one. Where you just jump here. Jump here. Uh, of course, there's others, other variations to do it. Just, you know, you want to make it more simple for yourself. You can try and jump like that. That one's a little bit harder because of momentum-wise. And a little bit harder. You can jump there. There. Then once you get up here, you actually have a pretty OP spot. Because a common spawn's over there. So you can just watch there. You can watch there. Watch there. There. That's actually a pretty OP spot. Now, the second one I'm going to be showing you guys is up here i mean it's this is not really utilized much so it can be unpredictable sometimes but yeah the next spot i'm going to show you guys or parkour spot is this one you can climb up here you see this little spot here then you can crouch jump 
Now, crouch jumping, I'll get into that a lot uh, later in the video. But basically, just jump and crouch. It's pretty simple. Or crouch before and then jump. Depends on what you're doing. You can jump up onto this tree. Pretty simple. I'll show you how to get onto this tree without uh, get going up there, though. So basically, you just want to go side to side like this consistently. And then crouch and jump. And you should be able to get up there pretty easily. Now, the next one is this one pretty simple so yeah basically how you do this is you come up here the second you're about to hit it just crouch and then try and spam jump and get up all right so the next most commonly used one when pushing a spawn is jumping over here jumping over there it's actually really real simple you just have to jump there go here and then just crouch jump and when you're doing it you kind of just want to i don't know kind of flick go like that like that it's pretty simple it can be hard though if you're not crouching at the proper timing, it can actually be pretty difficult. And the next one I'm going to show you guys is this one. You can go up here. Just crouch. Pretty simple. I'll show you guys some ways to get out of your spawn too. So You'll probably spawn here or near the plane. So something you could do is go up here. Just go up like that. You can go up through the middle. Any one of these like little, I don't know what they're, what they're called like i don't know tarps whatever i don't know you can go up here too jump jump and crouch jump if you do not crouch jump there this is an instant then you'll probably fall probably uh and yeah also movement wise talking about parkour as you can see jimmy he has the bouquet show the bouquet now this is the valentine day's special thing but basically it's a little bit faster than other melees i won't really get into that because i'm pretty sure they patched it but yeah so basically you would like hold uh a and d and w and you could jump way farther and go way faster not strafe wise but like parkour wise so yeah i'm pretty sure they patched it now though i'm pretty sure it's not faster now oh yeah one thing i forgot to talk about oh uh, like in peaks in the peak segment of this video is that you don't want to peak crouching because okay jimmy just peek out slowly crouching it's so easy to shoot him now peek out fastly crouching still really easy to shoot him like because uh when you're crouching you go slower sure you're smaller but like uh, we all make that mistake sometimes but it's just not the smartest thing to do the only thing you can see is his head really right because if you look at i don't know someone crouching like in arsenal just crouch real quick look the only thing you would you can click is like their head you can click their feet but who would would be aiming at the ground like that so yeah that's another reason why you do not peek that now we're gonna switch to uh crouch jumping so basically all of these jumps that i've showed you are most likely going to be needing crouch jumping but basically crouch jumping is where you just crouch when you, before you uh hit whatever you're trying to get on this is also a parkour spot that jimmy's doing right now it's pretty easy to do uh, I also know one where you can just go like this, backwards. Uh, it's, yeah, that's pretty easy, but there's also one over there. It doesn't work with my melee, though. Jimmy Jimmy can try it, but I'm pretty sure they uh, patched it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they patched it. I don't think you can go up there anymore. No, you can't. Before, you would just go straight up. Maybe you can go up with, like, a skateboard. Nope. All right. But yeah, um, touching in on the crouch jumping thing, uh, we'll talk about peeking and crouch jumping real quick. So basically, when you're like crouching, because if you have your, if you're just standing here, it's pretty easy to hit you. But when you're crouching here, you can go like that. So you're just strafing side to side. Uh, release your crouch button just for a second. And you peek out really quickly, and you can also do a pe peek mostly used on dizzy. Uh, bro. Uh, where the anvil thing, you just jump up, you know, like the anvil thing on Dizzy, you just jump up like that and shoot them. And you can also, uh, wait to peek faster and less exposed so you can get quicker headshots and look better while you're playing is you, you hold crouch down and just jump. All right. Uh, this is pretty useful in Sandtown for like jump shots and stuff, but it's pretty useful because look how little you are exposed. And when you full jump, look how much you're exposed. I'll give you a little bit side comparison. You stay there, Jimmy. All right, so just fully jump out and peek. 
Look, look how easy I can kill him. Now do a jump peek or crouch peek or whatever it's called. See, that's so harder to hit. And especially if you have really good aim and flicks, uh, you'll be able to just blink and kill him really easily. I'm gonna show you guys some uh, parkour spots that you can utilize in gameplay. If you're ever one joining someone, they're most likely gonna choose Dizzy because it's the main one v one map, or occasionally Sandtown because it's pretty, it's a pretty solid map. So yeah, comment down below if I should make like a Arsenal parkour uh, tricks video or something like that. That would actually be pretty cool for Dizzy. So when you spawn in. You're most likely gonna spawn in here off the game starting. There's many other spawns on Dizzy, but let's just say you spawn in here, like you always will. You can jump up here, jump up there, jump up here, go up here, crouch jump, crouch jump, and go up here, stuff like that. Truth always uses this spot in his 1v1s. But basically, you can also go up here when you spawn. A lot of people use this. You can go up here and then just, you know, predict the angles and stuff. Another spot you can use when you spawn go up here jump like that like jimmy just did it's really really simple how a lot of people do this is that they jump way too wide out but you just want to keep it narrow and it takes practice all right it's it's not the easiest thing to do it just takes practice to get perfect though but yeah and also if you jump from like way too far out it's way it's really hard to get up so you just want to jump like right there and it's then it's really simple you go up here go up there and this is the anvil that I was talking about. It doesn't really work too good with crouch speaking because of how big it is, but you can definitely utilize that into your game. The next one is the crane. <laughs> it's impossible with these melees because they patched it, but Jimmy might be able to do it because he has the bouquet. And I, as I told you guys, it's easier to like jump with. I almost did it there, but they patched it. You can't do it anymore with a lot of melees, like majority of the melees, so truth used that spot a lot in his one feelings with like the classic sword and stuff all right on to the next one just like jimmy did so from your spawn you just spawn right here go around here just jump then you can go up here jump crouch okay i'll show you guys how to do it so you're just gonna want to crouch up there and bink right, so what jimmy's doing is like this yeah they didn't p patch that one but so it's actually it's actually kind of hard I think they just patched it with the bouquet, Jimmy. <laughs> but yeah, so basically, you're gonna wanna try and jump onto the ledge there. When you hit it, crouch, go here. You can try and jump up here. It's kinda hard, you have to crouch jump though. There you go. Then you can jump over here. You maybe, you can maybe jump from there to here, I'm not sure. So you can go up here, climb up this ladder, go up there, pretty simple. And you can do a Jimmy dud, did, dud, oak. Jump over here. This is actually pretty OP for parkour uh, and hide and seek and stuff. Yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you found anything in this video helpful, like and subscribe for more videos like this. I'm going to be trying to daily upload for like two months. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next video.